Hey guys, welcome back. It is the weekend. Let's see if we can avoid getting a beer all over the place. Since uh, I had someone ask what my favorite Belgian beer was, I decided to, to grab a couple of these Ho Gardens at the store. So we'll start off our Saturday with one of these. We're gonna go with Flareon first. This is the deck list. It hasn't changed. It probably will. I know we have uh, Ultra Ball coming back and and such from Brilliant Stars. So there could be most definitely some changes to our Flareon here. But uh, let's uh, let's get into this. See if we can play a couple more games while the the format is what it is. All right, game number one. That's, I don't know if I can do quite as well as I did last weekend with the six and zero. But uh, we can always try. See if we can beat up on some Mews again. Maybe a Gengar or two. I feel like we might be better off against the Mew than the Gengar. I thought maybe my camera was a little bit too big, but it looks like we're alright once we're in game. Heads always fails. I should have used the Mawile coin instead of the Marnie. That's what I get. A little bit of a mulligan. Had a couple people ask recently how they should learn to play the game. And I think the best thing you could possibly do is download Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and just play the tutorials. They give you decks, so you don't you don't need co like code cards or anything to start out. You don't need to know how to build the deck. It'll walk you through the, the very basics of attaching energy and attacking, uh, everything like that. It's all kind of scripted and built in uh, to your deck and your opponent's deck, so there's really no way to go wrong. The uh, trading card game online is sort of good, and um, I guess its best feature is the fact that you can't play the game wrong. You can make mistakes, but you can't accidentally cheat or anything like that, so that's always a plus. In my eyes, we got draw a card. Um, hmm. I can't remember what deck we're playing against here. Maybe we should kill Azorua. Now that we can, we're gonna do 20 damage. But at least it would make it harder for him to retreat. Might as well play the Lysander. See if we can attack the Zoroa. Attach another energy. Hopefully get something on our next turn in terms of draw. The supporter here would have been nice if it was a Marnie or a Professor's Research so that we can get more cards other than all these energies. And the switch that we can't even use because we don't have a second Pokemon. Chinchino time. All the way back from Sword and Shield base. Really don't remember or know what we're playing against here. I would imagine that this is the the deck that transforms into something else. But I don't remember it ever playing Minchinos or Chinchinos or Goldines. This is what happens when you don't play enough. You can't tell if you're playing against something that's strong or. Uh, Or if it's just a bad deck. Oh, we got the VMAX though. That's good. Not that we need it, because we don't really need to discard anything. It doesn't seem like we're going to take a lot of damage. The most here we're going to take is 40 if he attaches another energy to Goldeen, unless it evolves. So there we go. We got a Seeking. The Horn. I think I heard of this. Throw three coins. So he's going to discard our energy, I guess. Little energy denial stally deck. Alright, we're okay with that. This is sort of nice because with Peony we can both attach an energy and we can 
put our Pokemon tool on and be able to still attack for 120. Come on, Tails. Come on. Okay. Right. All right. We're okay with that. There's another Zoroark there that he's probably going to turn into a Seeking, I guess, and just try to energy deny us until the end of existence. Um, hmm. I mean, we might as well evolve. We might as well take out the Seeking, although we want to take out... This would be a good deck to be playing the Jolteon against, but unfortunately we don't have that luxury. So let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. And maybe we did. Do we not even have research in this? Maybe we don't have any research in this deck. That or we prized it. So we might as well attach our Pokemon tool. Whatever. We're gonna discard cards. Which we don't necessarily need or want to do, because he's not I don't think his intention is to ever do damage to us. It's more to discard our energies so that we can't attack, but here, we're in a pretty good spot because we have a, a free energy with the elemental badge that he can't remove necessarily unless he has a tool scrapper. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that because he'll end up pulling one out of his butt. Prof research. Okay. That's good. We didn't want him to Marnie us because we have a... It doesn't seem like a very good hand is pretty decent because we have our energy for attachment, which isn't going to be hard to find, but... We want this Marnie in our hand so we can fresh, we can refresh our hand and we can uh, reduce his hand size so that he has less options, hopefully, than he currently does. Does he? What's he getting here? Goldeen? Alright. You can't discard our energies. We're discarding them ourselves. Um, so we can capture energy. Why not? Get another Flareon going. Uh, and we'll Marnie. Which is nice. Put our Flareons on the bench. Probably shouldn't have even evolved our Flareon into a VMAX. But it's whatever. We're gonna keep swinging. Swinging for the fences. So now, hopefully, he doesn't have any water energy and he doesn't have a way to get a Seeking out. Either with the Zoroark or the. Uh, seeking itself So sort of a little gimmick deck. I don't think it's very good. I Mean if it pops off and it gets the right combination and it hits a lot of heads Maybe it's good. I Mean there we go. The, Glim the Glimwood Tangle is definitely gonna help him So he's uh, he's in a pretty rough spot here because he's got a He's got to discard, essentially, well, I mean, he can't really, even if he discards three, if he gets three heads, we're still going to just be able to attach one energy and knock him out. But he's going to have a couple more Seekings coming in. So, well, we're, we're just going to keep attacking. We unfortunately do not have a Stadium card in this deck, just for the sake of, uh, Tails, Tails, t Triple Tails. Alright, so he's done, son. Um, there's not a whole lot he can do here. We can start loading up a second Flareon, because why not? The coin flips are not in his favor. And we gotta knock out two more things. We got a Dusclops for some reason to confuse your opponent's Pokemon, I guess. I don't really know. I guess once you run out of energy, then he confuses you. I don't know if that's his strategy, but it doesn't seem like a great one. We're mostly manually attaching energy here. And he still doesn't have the ability to, to take them off. The biggest thing though is this like elemental badge that he can't remove without a tool scrapper, plus to get enough energy off of either, you know, both the active Pokemon and the other Pokemon. Is he going to take it or is he going to go for three? 
See, he can't even decide. It doesn't matter what he does because I'm going to knock out the Sea King anyway. He took it. Greedy. Slap that little Sea King right back into the discard pile. And that's pretty much GG easy. It could be decks that uh, have a little bit of a harder time against this. I would imagine. Especially if he's discarding energy. Uh, Alright, so... Let's do one of these. Let's Marnie this. It's gonna stall us out here. But it's okay, we can retreat next turn or we can attach and knock out pretty much anything he's gonna put out against us. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Good start. Good start. Alright, on to game number two. Skip. 20 minutes of animations telling me that we, I got 75 coins. Which was nice of them to uh, celebrate that for me, but I don't think we need to watch that. Alright. Heads never fails. Tails never fails. I meant tails. Because it rhymes. The Marnie coin is a little bit rigged. Apparently it always gives us tails. I personally hate the, the jumbo coins in real life. Especially if you're playing the game. Like you like walk up with a pizza sized coin and flip it onto the table. I think the regular sized ones are just fine. Don't know why they decided, I guess with the Gigantamax and VMAX, Dynamax, everything's got to be max, even the coins. Max out the size. Ooh, we got a Flareon mirror match. Nice. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, he's got the uh, Rangaroo. I uh, man, I don't know. I I I didn't have nearly as much success with trying to run other stuff in the deck. I wish there were more special energies and and stuff like that to to really get everything rolling. It's kind of nice that we went second. So now we can get an Evo Incense. And we can get a. I guess we just get a Marnie. Hopefully, we don't get Marnie this turn. Um, it's the thing, I don't necessarily want to use that to get my Marnie because I can't play the Marnie this turn. Or the Evolution Incense because I can't evolve this turn because it's my first turn. But at the same time, I can't play him next turn and then use the Marnie. So, kind of in between a. Uh, Rock in a hard place with doing that. This is a little bit risky because unless he wants to keep me to two cards, which would be dumb because I picked these two cards, um, I'm risking getting Marnied and then my hand gets disrupted and maybe I end up with a dead hand, which is not a good scenario because he's about to, uh, to swing on us. And uh, if we lose our Flareon right away here, it could be bad. Let's see what he played there. He did the old peony trick as well. We should have been paying attention to what his cards were. Alright, alright. There we go. There we go. Now we can evolve. And this is if we can swing. This is why you play Flareon by itself. This is why. 
He knew what was that. He knew he was getting five bombed. I wish he would have let us attack him, but that is uh, why you don't play other junk in Flareon, because you can't afford to hit for 200 damage. You gotta sacrifice the setup a little bit in order to guarantee the big dog hits. He knew. He knew what he had coming. Too bad we can't simulate that or see what would happen, but that's a 2-0. Oh. That is a big 2-0. Oh. Alright, game on number three, Lonely Flareon. The best Flareon. You heard it here. All we need now is a uh, Flareon V-Star with some kind of crazy ability. That like puts all your fire energy back in your deck or something. Without having to attack. It'd be interesting. All right, good starting hand. Very nice. We're ready to set up. What are we playing against? I'm glad that there's much less water in the format right now. That was not fun. Getting 2x'd every day all day was not a good time. But here we go. We have our, sh our shot to prove ourselves against Gengar. He took advantage of us. Uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before. So let's see if we can get a, a little bit of revenge. The Hound Hour. Alright. I see. Holy crap. These Flareon VMAXs are just everywhere. Hopefully our Flareon doesn't go down for the count because unfortunately we only have the one V right now. We're As long as our hand doesn't get disrupted here, we're about to swing on Gengar for big, big dick energy. Even having the three Flareon VMAXs out of the deck um, is just going to make it so much more likely to get your like your big four and five energy slams. Of course he's going to shuffle our hand, but we're okay with that. We're not okay with that. That sucks. Hopefully we get a Flareon V Max or the Evolution Incense or something on the draw. Although we're about to get smack daddied anyway, so it doesn't matter. Unfortunate, Gengar once again had his way with us. So much for the 3 0. That's it for today. Tomorrow, let's go. Uh, Try out some more Jolteon, and then we'll have to see with the Brilliant Stars coming out. Maybe we'll have to build a new deck, something new and exciting, and or modify these two. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord. See ya.